This right here is the Techno Pover 3, a powerful yet affordable phone built for gaming and media consumption in mind. Now, I'll have a lot of great things to say about this phone, but I have to say the international smartphone market has a ton of competition, so be sure to stick around till the end of the video so you know if this is the right phone for you. Well, let's go ahead and start with gaming because I'm sure that's what most of you all are excited about. This phone ships with the MediaTek Helio G88 CPU and the Hyper Engine 2.0 game engine. It also has four or six gigs of dedicated RAM depending on the model that you get. That game engine is really important because that's a part of the phone that will sense if your battery's too low, if the phone is getting too hot, or if the game is using too much computing power. By having that kind of tech, this phone can intelligently figure out what to prioritize. In terms of the actual gaming experience on this phone, since that's probably what most of you guys wanna know, it's actually pretty solid, especially when the battery is fully charged. This phone is packed with different features to make gaming more immersive, like the 90 hertz refresh rate, a layer of graphite that keeps the phone cool, motors in the phone that vibrate when you game, dual speakers, which are probably some of the loudest that I've heard on the phone, and a softer experience called the Panther Game Engine 2.0, which helps improve your display quality and audio noise reduction while gaming. Okay, so gaming and performance are great, but I think something everyone can love is the design of this phone. This phone comes in blue, silver, and black. I definitely recommend picking up the electric blues model since the model actually has a light bar that goes through the center of the phone. You can use that bar to see if your phone is charging, for notifications, or even for calls. It would have been really easy for a techno just to make a phone that looks simple, but the additional light really helps this phone stand out. This display, as I mentioned before, is 90 Hertz. It's 6.9 inches and it has a resolution of 1080 by 2460. I definitely think the size of the screen makes it great for people who use their phones more than a computer or any other device. It's big enough to watch movies, TV, and news, or get some work done while also being small enough to fit in your pocket. On the back of this phone, there are three lenses. Together, they create a 50 megapixel camera image quality on this phone, which is actually pretty decent and really good lighting. You can definitely get some postable pictures here for social media. There are tons of features packed into the camera software, AI photo punch-ups, and a bokeh effect. Since there are multiple sensors on here, there are night modes and HDR modes on this phone camera too. Pictures taken on this camera actually look pretty nice, but if a camera is super important to you, you may wanna check out Techno's flagship device, um, which has 60X zoom and hardware stabilization. Um, this camera is definitely great for social media posts, but it's not the best I've seen in the market. Now, let's get into the battery. This phone is built for people who might have frequent power outages and can't charge their phone every day. It has a whopping 7,000 milliamp battery with 33 watt fast charging. Um, it has amazing standby time. It can literally last multiple days. It does a really good job at not um, draining battery when it is on standby time. But aside from that, when you're gaming, this can latch you a full day of heavy usage and heavy gaming. And if you're using it very lightly, honestly, it can last you at least two days. This honestly has better battery life than my iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is probably like five times the price tag of this phone. Now the 33 watt fast charging is pretty great. It only takes 40 minutes to get 50% and two hours to get to 100%. If you're really on a jam, you can also turn on reverse charging on this phone and power other Android devices or accessories if needed. This is a feature that you honestly just see on flagship phones. So it's pretty great to see here. With this phone's focus on battery life and great pricing, I can totally see myself recommending this to my cousins and friends back in Kenya or in parts of the world where high performance budget phones are extremely important. With that said, I can definitely see this being great for younger buyers um, in those kind of places or even in markets here in the United States where people really appreciate gaming and a beautifully designed phone. Honestly, this looks like a flagship phone from a design perspective and almost performs like a flagship device when it comes to gaming. So Techno did a really good job at creating a phone 
that has a good balance of design and performance with a great price tag. My name is Victor Kamanga. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing all of you in the next one. Bye.